All right guys, so it's time to kick off this bass fishing rig series. And I thought a good start would be the Texas rig. It's a super simple rig and basically it's just a sinker and a hook. So you're gonna need some of these bullet sinkers or you can use egg sinkers or whatever kind of sinker really as long as it's a sliding sinker. And But these are the kind of uh, sinkers I like to use. They're, they're bullet weights. And you're also gonna need some type of worm hook or offset hook. So first thing, you're gonna go ahead and put the sinker on your line and the skinny side goes on first. So once you got your sinker on, then you can put your hook on. You can use whatever size hook you want. I like to use a Palomar knot. Just run it through the eye of the hook and then run, it, run that same line right back through. Then you just tie like a overhand type knot there with those lines. And you take that, take the hook back through the loop. And, uh, and there's your Palomar knot. Trim off the tag line. So now you got the nuts and bolts of the Texas rig. Now basically you just have to choose which soft plastic you want to use. And that's actually my favorite thing about the Texas rig because you can use pretty much any soft plastic you want. Run it through just to where that hook starts to bend at the top there. Bring it back through and then you're going to go ahead work that worm all the way up and you sort of have to twist it when it gets up to that offset. So once you've got the, the worm all the way up over that offset you can kind of see where the hook needs to go back through the worm down here. So and you, you just sort of bend it up if you do it right the worm will still be straight. To keep it weedless you can texpose that hook, skin hook it as they call it and basically you just kind of stick that that pointy end of the hook just right under that under the plastic and as long as you can rub your finger be careful doing that because you can stab yourself but you just sort of you know skin hook it and that keeps it weedless and when they bite it you can still hook them because they bite it like that and so it's just a, it's a good way to keep it weedless right. you cast it out let it sink on slack line Watch the line. Okay. Go ahead and bring it up, give it a couple pops up. Couple pops up. You just kind of bounce it back to you. And you know, whenever you put tension on the line and it feels kind of weird, it's usually just rubbing on the bottom. Sometimes it's actual fish just holding on to it. And uh, you just kind of have to work it slow and sometimes sometimes they like it like you to work it slow sometimes they like you to work it faster just pop it up there he is got him oh, he's, little. he's a little guy but hey look how little he is So when you catch one, catch a fish, you gotta you know readjust your your worm. Go ahead and re uh, skin hook it again. Just gonna cast it out and let it sink on slack line. Sink down, give it a couple of pops. Just kind of work it slow on the bottom. You know, giving it twitches and pops. Oh, 
a skinny dude. Cast it out. Let that sucker sink on slack line. Just make sure you watch your line as it's sinking because you'll get bites. A lot of your bites will come on that fall. And uh, just wait till that thing gets down on the bottom. Once it's down on the bottom, just give it a couple pops and just work it back towards you. He didn't have it all the way. He might come back to it. good one. That was a good one. Man, that was a good one. Alright guys, so that's the Texas rig in a nutshell. It's super versatile and you know you can you can put a worm on there, you can put a tube. Basically any type of soft plastic for the most part you can put on a Texas rig. If you've never tried it you're missing out because it definitely catches fish. It's one of those rigs that just works. So if you've never tried it give it a shot. Get out there on your local pond or get out on the boat or whatever and try the Texas rig. I promise you, you'll be glad you did it.